To prime your printer and begin printing, first take a non-abrasive lint-free towel and hold it underneath your print engine and gently squeeze the priming bulb. You can carefully and gently wipe any excess ink from the front of the print engine. Once again, hold a non-abrasive lint-free towel in front of your print engine and gently but firmly squeeze the priming bulb. Remember, never use household paper towels. From time to time, you may have to purge your printhead. In order to do this, make sure you are using fluid that is compatible with the ink that you're printing with. First, remove the ink line from the print engine. Cap the ink line. Keeping household paper towels handy for general cleanup is a good idea, but never use household paper towels to wipe the front of your print head or print engine. It will severely damage your print engine and void your warranty. Next, Connect a purge fitting to the back of the printhead in place of the ink line. Position the printhead in the down shooting position. Take your purge syringe and fill it with the appropriate flushing solution. Attach the syringe to the filter. Don't over tighten the syringe on the filter or it will be difficult to push the purge fluid through the syringe. Push the entire contents of the syringe through your printhead. Notice a fine ribbon of flushing solution. This ribbon of flushing solution should be clear and uniform. Detach the empty syringe from the purge fitting. Withdraw the syringe plunger to fill up the syringe with air. Push the entire contents of the syringe through the print head and refill the syringe with purge fluid. Reattach the syringe to the purge fitting and push the fluid through your print engine. Notice once again there is a fine ribbon of purge solution spraying from the print engine. Detach the syringe from the purge fitting and once again withdraw the plunger and fill the syringe with air. Reattach the syringe to the purge fitting and push air through the printhead. Detach the purge fitting from the back of your printhead. and reattach the ink line.
position the printhead and you are now ready to prime and begin printing. Once again remember when priming your printhead always use non-abrasive lint-free towels. Should you find that you have a damaged print engine you will have to replace it. First you will need access to the print engine. To get access to the print engine remove the two small screws and the print head case. And gently open the print head case. Detach the ink line from the print engine. Do this carefully. Try not to bend or kink the ink line or you'll have to replace it. Move the ink line out of the way to get access to the small mounting screws. Remove the small mounting screws that hold the print engine in place. Gently lift the print engine out of its position. You will have to detach the electrical connection to the back of the print engine. Notice the shape of the metal corners on the print engine that you just removed. They have been trimmed to a 45 degree angle so the print engine will fit inside the print head. Once again, Trim the corners of your new print engine before trying to install it in your print head. Then simply connect the electrical connections to the back of the print engine and position the new print engine in the print head. Replace the small mounting screws that hold the print engine in position. Now reattach the ink line to the print engine. Make sure the ink line is seated and won't leak. When the new print engine is installed, take a moment to double check your work. Two mounting screws, ink line, and signal connection. If everything is done correctly, now replace the cover. 